Hello, welcome back to T. Lisa's channel. For this week's series, we'll be making the coconut chai latte and chocolate chai latte. If you're a big fan of chai tea lattes or if you find chai tea lattes to be too strong, we would highly recommend our flavored chai tea latte versions. Alright, so we'll get on with the video. So first we're going to add 2 teaspoons of our loose leaf tea. So I'm going to grab the chocolate chai one. One. Two. And then I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of the coconut. And then two teaspoons of sugar, and we use organic sugar cane at tea leaves. And then we're going to pour 250 milliliters of hot water. And we're gonna let that steep for five to six minutes. So while our tea is steeping, I poured a quarter of milk into our milk frother here and we'll let the milk steam and froth for one minute. So after our tea is steeped, I want to pour the tea into our serving cup. So I'm going to grab the chocolate chai. And if you want a stronger flavor, you can add a chocolate syrup into the chocolate chai or a coconut syrup into the coconut chai. Put that backwards. Okay. Right, and our milk has frothed as well, so I'm gonna pour the milk in. We can decorate it with some garnishes. So with the chocolate chai here, I have chocolate powder. So I'm gonna use a strainer and dust that all over. For the coconut chai, I'm going to add a dust of cinnamon on top. So now I'm going to try the chocolate chai first. Oh, I like this. So you really get that chocolate flavor as well as the sweet and spiciness of the chai tea latte. And I'm going to try the coconut chai. So really coconutty and the garnishes that we added on top also gives a nice after flavor. So that concludes our chocolate and coconut chai tutorial. If you want to pick up the loose leaf teas, we'll link our website below and as well as the products. If you want detailed instructions, check out our blog and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like, a follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Alright, so we'll see you next week.